Hi, I'm Sid Meyer. We're here at the USS Constellation in Baltimore's Inner Harbor. And today, I and my motley crew will give you a behind the scenes look at the making of Pirates. Pirates is a, an epic role-playing adventure action game that takes place in the uh, exciting world of Caribbean in the 17th century. You get to be a heroic pirate figure uh, traveling the, the ocean, uh, engaging in sword fights, dueling, ship battles, sneaking around town, romancing the governor's daughter, all the kind of fun, exciting uh, things that uh, happen in the world of pirates. The original game, Pirates, was created with uh, a team of maybe four or five people uh, on the Commodore 64. Today, it's a very different world. We have an incredible amount of art. Um, we're building models, 3D models of characters and ships and worlds. Uh, those models are brought to life with animation, sound effects, uh, music. Uh, so it's a real production, uh, and it's exciting to be uh, work working in a in a world where we're able to, to bring all these things to life with such uh, graphic and, and sound quality. A lot of the early pirates were very unsuccessful and they lived terrible lives that ended early and they were starving and they had vitamin deficiencies. And so we cut all that out and we just make it a game about swashbuckling Errol Flynn kind of pirates. The pirate life is a series of constant adventures. Sometimes you might capture a gold-laden Spanish galleon, but then again you might be captured and marooned or thrown in the brig. Arg. I'm in the brig. Everything just starts with very traditional skills. We don't do everything with the computer. I like to sit down with my, my paper and pencil and, and just dump that stuff out of my head and get it to a place where other people can, can understand it and, and work from it. I have um, character designs. It's just start sketching away and making um, drawings of these guys that later will be translated by a modeler who will add textures and an animator who will make them move and all that. But it starts just as scribbles on paper, literally. We kind of work backwards. We we kind of we're grinding it through. We're trying to find that style, trying to find the perfect uh, match for Sid's approach, and it it just wasn't clicking. And then uh, we saw these exaggerated moves when we were supporting the design for dueling, and we thought that that's right. That's what we want. We don't want exactly as it was, but we want our guys to do just a little bit, a little bit extra. Captain, the men are angry. I'm taking over this ship. You'll have to get past me first. We could have gone to like a realistic sense, but uh, we went to a more fantasy, almost like superhero quality to the characters. And, and it took a few months of animating and trying and trying and just seeing, seeing that, oh, you know, when you, when you really exaggerate these motions and you really have fun with this stuff, people react a lot better to it. This is going to be uh, an animation for um, uh, close to the end of the game when you're fighting an uber villain and um, this is uh, when the uh, player character wins. Uh, another way we're doing this uh, sometimes is uh, creating storyboards and then scanning the storyboards in to create um, what we call an animatic. The, the barmaid has uh, earlier been harassed by this character so she's kind of upset with him. So this is the final animated version of that. Winning top. One of the most exciting parts of Pirates is ship battles. Sid created a list of what ships he wanted in the game. And I created this thumbnail page that has a, a small sketch of, of every ship in the game, a silhouette in a way so we can get an idea how they're going to look against each other and make sure the set of ships are identifiable. Once this was approved, I created a blueprint, which is a piece of concept art for each ship that any of the artists can take and create the model from. This has specific details that these ships need for gameplay. Things are simplified, things are caricaturized. Once the ship is done construction, it's sent upstairs to Rob Clurier, who animates them. Uh, we were trying to go for a very visual approach to tell the user um, uh, when their guns were ready instead of relying on other, like other games do with numbers and like you've got X number of, of guns ready at a certain time. We we're going for a very visual approach. Uh, for instance, the sails get uh, holes put in them gradually as they get more and more damage. As the sails go to 0% in 
damage. We have a dismasting sequence. Each ship has a unique dismasting. There's also a destruction animation that if you destroy a ship, it plays the dismasting, then the destruction. And it sinks down, the guns roll off the deck and so forth. What I did on the Pirates game was developed a graphics world for Sid because we were doing 2D things before that. So I developed a graphics world for him to make ships and have ships sail and an animation system so he could have all the characters dance the way he wanted to. And Sid programs in a very unique way. Many of the graphic systems today are very automated and they do everything for you, but Sid wants complete control of everything down to the little tiny little uh, detail of time. She struck her colors, boys! Hurrah! 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 We're gonna do single hurrahs, okay? When I go like that, okay? Um, everybody ready? Yes. No! <laughs> okay. Hurrah! 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 No coughing. So when I first started, uh, we wanted to get the the feel, and you know, the look was already there, but we needed to get the audio of ship battles and dueling. And what's interesting about Pirates is there's so many different aspects to the game, whether you're in ship battles, there's guys fighting all around you, or um, in a ship battle where you've got two ships across from each other firing handballs back and forth, explosions. So we want to get that feel. We sat down and had a an audio design meeting with Sid and you know we wanted to like you know what do you want to do with the town music and his idea was that as as you're sailing around the navigation screens you will get a feeling of whether a city is wealthy and what nation that city is from based on the music that is coming off of the city as you're sailing past it the gameplay in pirates represents essentially a lifetime your lifetime in this world so uh, you age as the game goes on you uh, decide when you want to retire you decide when you want to take a little break and and form a new uh, a new voyage a new crew so the game takes the form of an entire lifetime uh, and uh, as such you determine the story that you're going to tell in this in this uh, in the game the best reaction I could get from someone playing pirates for the first time or for the 27th time is Man, I got to go back and, and this time I'm going to do something different. I just want to go back and, and play it again. I'm going to search for treasure. Or I want to, I'm going to go after the Spanish this time, or this time I'm going to get in more land battles. I think when you say the word pirates, um, you know, you think of all these things, and, and most of them are, you know, fun kind of uh, adventurous uh, ideas that spring to mind from just that word, word pirates. We at Atari are very excited to be working with Firaxis on recreating uh, the original Pirates game. It's not just a fighting game, it's not just an action game, it's not just a role-playing game. It takes elements of each of these styles of games and combines them to create an entire life of a pirate. We hope you've enjoyed our behind-the-scenes look at the making of Pirates. Uh, we've had a whole lot of fun making it, and we hope you have a whole lot of fun playing it. Thanks. Arg.